Hi, I'm Nathan Ho, and I'm making an adventure game about our cat, Coco. In this video, I'm going to talk you through how my interaction system works. The interaction system keeps track of the nearest actionable thing to the player character so that when I press the action button, it knows what to do. In this case, show some dialogue. Let's have a closer look at how this all works. First, I have a custom node that I've called actionable that is based on an area 2D. I set the collision layer to one I've labeled as actionable. The script for this exposes a signal for when the actionable is actually actioned. So in a scene, I can attach an actionable node and define a collision shape to set up an interactable object, like this signpost. Next, I need a way of knowing which actionable the player was looking at and having some kind of feedback that that one was close enough to interact with. In the main Coco scene, I have a direction marker that rotates as Coco turns around. Inside this marker node, I have an area 2D that I've called Actionable Finder. I have its collision mask set to Actionable so that it can see any of those nodes I mentioned earlier. Because it is a child of the direction node, it will always be in front of where Coco is facing. In Coco's main controller script, I continually check for any overlapping actionable areas. If there is one, I check to see if it's new before updating the nearest actionable reference and emitting a signal to notify listeners of that change. This signal is mainly used so that the interface overlay can hide and show the actionable indicator icon above Coco's head. If I run the game with collision shapes enabled in debug mode, you can see how this works so far. Now, let's see how to trigger some dialogue so that Coco can read the sign. I use my dialog manager add-on and my custom dialog balloon to handle dialog, but you could do the same thing with the bundled example balloon. I have a title called Read Sign and something for Coco to say when she reads the sign. Now, inside Coco's default state script, I override unhandled input and see if UI action was just pressed. The reason I use the unhandled input function is because I don't want to re-trigger the dialogue if it's already running. This handler will be ignored if the dialogue balloon is open because it will handle the input on its own and mark it as handled. Now, in the signal handler for when the signpost actionable is actioned, I can trigger the dialogue. If you wanted to have other actionable things, you can simply instance more copies of the actionable node and hook up different signal handlers. That's all there is to it. As always, if you have any questions, then post a comment below or jump in my Discord and have a chat. I'll see you there, or I'll see you here again soon.